Uh, hello, this is um, Manuel Sochi 14 here, and um, today's video I'm going to be demonstrating um, the versions, um, new feature in Mac OS X Lion. Because I haven't seen any videos on YouTube um, demonstrating this, um, I accidentally found out how to do this, um, so I didn't really do any research about this, but um, I have experimented quite a lot using this, um, so it's quite a useful feature. Um, so basically what this is, is it's a bit like Time Machine, um, but you don't need um, any backup um, locations or um, external hard disk or anything for this. Um, so um, it probably uses disk space, doesn't use too much disk space, but anyway, um, uh, um, I think it uses a bit of memory, like uh, as you can see text edit is using less than 80 megabytes um, RAM now, um, but you'll see later when I demonstrate this feature that um, it will use quite a lot of RAM. So anyway, I'll just open hello world here, and press enter, and test one, um, and save this, um, I'll save it to the desktop, and I'm replacing this file here, um, so it doesn't matter. So if you replace it, it doesn't make the versions automatically work. Um, so um, basically, you need to put your mouse over here. So you can see this um, this uh, um, arrow thing here. Um, so basically, you, you can open up existing files with this. Um, doesn't, you don't have to create a new file. So you can go to um, Browse All Versions. And as you can see, there's a nice time machine um, layout here. There's no previous versions available yet. Um, so you can actually edit your file in this. Um, uh, so you just edit it. So you're just going to see if I save it. Right, it's the first um, preview, no, um, first um, backup or version of this. So if I type in uh, test two, save. So you can see if I go to back here, um, then there's two, there's several different saved versions. Um, so um. This is um, quite useful, um, so um, there probably is a limit to how many you can store here, but um, it looks like you can store about 50 or 100 here, um, just an estimate. So. But anyway, it's quite a large amount, so you can click restore on one of these, like I want to restore to this, um, because I made some changes which you didn't, didn't want to um, keep. So click restore, it restores my main document to this. So we go to back to browse all versions. Um, then, as you can see, um, I can actually see um, my last versions. Um, so, if I want to actually go back to the version that um, I did restore because I realized that I wanted to keep these changes, I'm going to restore back to it. Um, so, let's just check how much RAM this uses. Um, so, it's not using much yet, but um, if I go to versions and I check the memory usage, as you can see it uses 150 megabytes RAM. Um, so it uses about 50 megabytes of RAM or more just for versions. Um, so it is quite RAM intensive. Um, it uses a bit of CPU, so also 22% CPU. Uh, screen flow is also using a tiny bit. Um, so um, anyway, if you have um, like a Mac Mini or a really old Mac, they, um, then versions isn't recommended to use. Um, if you want to keep a lot of versions of a file. Uh, so um, this works with plain text and rich text, um, and um, by the way, um, in text edit and line, you cannot save as anymore. So if you want to save as, basically go to file and duplicate. Um, now basically what you can do here is go to file and save, and choose the save location. Um, so it's basically very similar to save as, um, but save as would be quite nice, but Apple doesn't really want to keep save as feature anymore in anything, because Apple's slowly removing it and final cuts and everything. Uh, so anyway, um, you could try to close it. It doesn't automatically save if you don't save it, um, I think. Um, but maybe it does in a memory or something, I'm not sure. So anyway, I'll um, select don't save. So um, I'll just check the file size of this. Um, 340 bytes, um, quite small. Um, so I'll just put test 3, save. Test 4, save. Test 5, save. And check the... Um, so I said it's 366 bytes now. Um, so if we go to um, browse all versions, um, you can actually you can't actually sw um, switch spaces here, or go to mission control or anything. Um, uh, you can't even use the keyboard shortcut or anything. Um, so you can copy and paste from these. Um, and also, 
uh, quite a nice feature. And then it also shows the date here and the exact time. And it doesn't show seconds though. Uh, so um, just click done and so if I um, duplicate this file um, by dragging it and holding Alt and then drag it somewhere else in the same folder or different folder then if I open this duplicated version um, it, it does not contain your versions so go to browse all versions as you can see it doesn't contain any of them um, so I'm um, uh, not sure if there's any way of transferring the versions um, so we'll just check actually and uh, looks like they probably aren't stored in the DS store file, I don't think. Um, and that would be quite interesting to wear, like 16 gigabytes. Um, so, anyway, um, it's quite kind of annoying that um, you can't transfer versions anyway. So, I just delete this and check file size. No, it doesn't store it here. So, anyway, um, thanks for watching this um, demonstration. Um, please remain to comment on this video and um, please subscribe. And please check out my different video tutorials and um, please place in the comments if you'd like to see any demonstrations of any Mac OS 10 features um, because um, I'll make a video and upload it as soon as possible.